Get help from beneficial insects when growing cannabis outdoors. Growing cannabis plants outdoors presents numerous challenges we don't have to concern ourselves with when growing plants indoors. We are at the mercy of the elements – wind, rain, storms, excessive sunshine and too much heat – and swarms of locusts. OK, maybe the locusts is a bit of an over-exaggeration, but you'd be surprised what damage a few grasshoppers could do to an outdoor cannabis plant. When growing cannabis plants outdoors, you can go down one of two routes to protect your plants. You can go down the all-chemical route with harsh pesticides that will kill just about anything that moves, from butterflies to worms and everything in between. Alternatively, you could go down the bug-friendly route and, instead of killing problem insects yourself, let others do it for you, taking advantage of the natural food chain. Here, we are talking about encouraging other creatures that are partial to having a snack or two comprised of bugs that like to chow down on cannabis plants. So, what do you have to do to attract good insects? It's called companion planting. You grow companion plants alongside your principal crop with the intention of creating a naturally beneficial ecosystem. The next question you want answering is, what are bad insects? What do I need to guard against? These include caterpillars, grasshoppers, greenflies, aphids, fungus gnats, thrips, spider mites and whiteflies. The list seems to be a little daunting, but unless you're one of those people who are seriously unlucky, you're unlikely to have to deal with all eight of these at the same time. So, what about insects and creepy crawlies I do want to attract? Green lacewings are great. In larval form, they'll munch their way through aphids, spider mites, thrips, whiteflies and leafhoppers. Fortunately, when adults, they don't have a penchant for cannabis plant leaves, but prefer pollen, nectar and honey. Dill, caraway, fennel and coriander are great plants for attracting lacewings and will prove useful in the kitchen as well. Ladybugs or ladybirds, depending on what you prefer to call them, love nothing more than to feast on moths, beetles, mites and thrips. Unfortunately, they can fly, so you need to attract them and keep them. Create a small pond and plant cilantro, chives, calendula, marigold, dill and yarrow, which should also attract assassin bugs that will help control pests. Unlike spider mites and other destructive mites, predatory mites are beneficial to your plants as they live off other pesky mites. You can attract them by growing mint, though keep the mint in separate pots or grow it around the border of your plantation as it can spread rapidly. You can also buy live predatory mites as you can green lacewings and ladybugs. You see, not all bugs are bad for you or your cannabis plants. We'd love to know what your experiences are dealing with insects, good and bad. Let us know in the comments section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe so you too can become a cannabis expert.